SH Figuarts are back for Precure. Oki Genmaho, and welcome back to Magical Murmurs. On January 20th, it was announced that Precure is once again getting SH Figuarts for Cure Dream and Cure Peach, stating SH Figuarts. Hashtag Precure new product coming soon. Cure Dream from Yes Precure 5 Go Go. Cure Peach from Fresh Precure coming soon as a new model. Prototype is displayed at hashtag All Precure Live. Further information available at Tamashi Web. As of this recording, the information is not out quite yet. More to come. And if you're interested in the history of SH Figure Arts, we recommend Magical Cinnamon's video. Link in the description below. In the meantime, we do have an update on the Cardcaptor Sakura Anime 20th Anniversary Sakura Kinomoto 1 7 scale figure. It is now up for pre-order on AmiAmi and other sites, releasing January 2025, priced around $140 USD, prices depending on location. It was announced on the official Doremi website that an event will be held at Anime Japan 2024, stating, it has been decided that Oja Majo Doremi will be held on stage at Anime Japan 2024. New video presentation. We will be celebrating the 25th anniversary of Oja Majo Doremi with our gorgeous voice actors. Don't miss it. With this information being reflected on the official schedule for the event. Doremi is also keeping with the spirit, as Heart Corp has announced. There will be an Oja Majo Doremi chocolate campaign, stating, Oja Majo Doremi's chocolate gift is now available. The pouch has a design studded with magic item motifs, and brushes and pens can be stored vertically in the inner pocket. Released on January 8th, 2024. Omnibus, the e-commerce site for anime and manga goods, is doing a collab with Creamy Mommy, stating, Reservations have started. We have started accepting reservations for items such as the newly drawn period fashion version colored with trading stand from Creamy Mommy, the Magic Angel. We also have Omnibus exclusive benefits. Please take this opportunity to make a reservation. Featuring this artwork. We have started accepting reservations for trading any art acrylic cards and trading any art acrylic stickers from Magical Angel Creamy Mommy. We also have the Omnibus exclusive benefits. Please take this opportunity to make a reservation. We have started accepting reservations for the Motive Pattern Mobile Battery Volume 2, the Motive Pattern Mouse Pad, the Motive Pattern Mug Volume 2, and the AirPods case from Magic Angel Creamy Mommy. Also with an Omnibus collab is Mermaid Melody. Pop-Up Shop Volume 2. A new drawing based on the concept of mermaid wearing feathers by Pink Hanamori has been released. Period runs from March 15th to March 31st. And the collabs don't end there. Kaito Saint Tail will be getting a Kuji with Iyul running until February 16th. This for the 30th anniversary of the series. Items using the manga illustrations with bonus items for every 10th purchase of one of these random three postcards. And for every five purchases, you will be entered in a lottery with the chance to win this acrylic with the S prize being the premium acrylic diorama plate, with the A prize being these four acrylic stands, with the B prize being one of these eight acrylic cards, with the C prize being one of these acrylic keychains, and the D prize being one of these can badges. Magic Knight Ray Earth is also having an EO Kuji, going until February 18th, also for the 30th anniversary, featuring these items and with every purchase entering the lottery for this acrylic keychain, with the S prize being the royal blanket, the A prize being one of these four acrylic stands, with the B prize being one of these three smartphone character rings, with the C prize being one of these 12 acrylic cards, and the D prize being one of these 12 can badges. Next, we turn to Ochiba Wolf for Sailor Moon news. We have an update on the Sailor Moon Museum 2024 tour. New Sailor Moon artwork by the creator, Naoko Takauchi, will be on sale, as postcards and holographic posters. More details on the Sailor Moon Fan Network website, link in the description below. A new commercial for Wonderful Precure has been released showcasing the Wonderful Pact. Hopping to the other side of the world, we look back at the Variety article from Miraculous Ladybug, as we get more details about the visual switch we will see in future seasons. Miraculous Ladybug will be switching to the Unreal Engine, a gaming software known for beautiful games, 
that you may know, such as Kingdom Hearts 3, Sea of Thieves, Yoshi's Crafted World, and Fortnite. Exclusive information has come forward for the pre-production, saying that the special, The End of Ladybug, will have the regular animation. This possibly being the last episode we see in this animation style. It takes place after season 5, and it is not a miraculous world special, as we might have thought before, with a chance that Ladybug might change her name. For season 6, every single character will be redesigned and all models will be replaced with new ones created for the new animation platform Unreal Engine. They're recreating everything from scratch, like for season 1, most characters will come with new hairstyles and new clothes. The designs will have new elements and details but maintain the colors we are used to. They look nice overall, the heroes especially. As for the models, the main difference with the original ones are the hair, which looks more realistic and the facial structures a little different. The faces look slightly slimmer, more defined, unlike the original ones, which are quite rounded and have larger cheeks. You could say that they give the impression of looking older, in the sense that they look less like kids and more like teenagers. Kind of hard to explain. Reminder, this is all pre-production. We will have to wait for the final product to give proper opinions. The new special in Season 6 will be released later this year. Miraculous Ladybug is also getting new jewelry. Complete your outfit by adopting Ladybug style with our exclusive earrings, bracelets, and necklace that you won't find anywhere else. Dazzling jewelry inspired by Ladybug. Our favorite heroine's yo-yo is adorned with rhinestones just for you. Expect to receive compliments with these pieces. This coming from the Zag Store USA. And to wrap up, Good Smile is opening up their voting for new figures, specifically for their pop-up parade line. This pop-up parade line known for having several Madoka figures and figures from Little Witch Academia. Now is our opportunity to vote for Magical Girl figures that you'd like to see in the future. But we'd also like to remind you that series owned by Toei and partnered with Bandai, such as Sailor Moon and Precure, are most likely not to be licensed by Good Smile, and we will likely not receive figures from them. For a whole list of what potentially can and cannot be licensed, we highly recommend Bahamut Blast's Instagram post specifying all this information. Link in the description below. And thank you for this week's Magical Murmurs video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and leave any corrections down below. Thank you, and bye bye